Hello everyone. Let's look at the November 2021 question paper for computer practice N4. We are going to focus on question 6, which is 6A for this lesson. So the text that you are supposed to type according to question 6A consists of paragraphs as we see them there. All right. So I'm just going to scroll and you will see that the marks, 11 marks, will be allocated to the typing of this paragraph. So this indicates that you have to leave two spaces before you start with a new paragraph. Just like you see them after every paragraph there is an indication which is called a manuscript to show you that you press enter twice. So what I'm going to do now is work on the document where I actually type the paragraph as indicated. So I've typed these paragraphs, all these I've typed, but I have to make sure that it's according to the instructions. So when we look at the instruction there, all the instructions, the first one says key in the text, I've done it. In, use Korea New 12. So we just have to verify that all this text is Korea New 12. So I go to home and then the font there, yes, is Korea New and then 12 is the font size. You take the font size like that. So normally you would change the font there before you type the text that is given to you. So either way it's fine. Now let's go to number two says insert question 6a in capital letters left aligned and your, your uh, surname and examination number. So in the final question paper they will tell you about inserting the examination number. Okay. So the examination number will be your ID number. So what you will do on the document that you are actually typing you will insert your examination number and this is how I do it. So this is the text then we'll go to insert like I went now then now we go to header always take this option of header three columns because if they ask you to type the center you also have a place to type. So if I'm going to type question 6a on the left like I did now and then on the right when I click there and then type my examination number obviously it will be your ID number. So w when you put your ID number and then you click there where it says type text if you are not going to use that portion you press delete or backspace because you don't want to compromise marks otherwise they will take marks away from you because of accuracy so I removed that one all right when you are done working in a header make sure you leave this portion and go to your text you can click this button here like I did okay now you are on your text all right so now i'm going to view my question paper again and my questions there right so as we see there we were supposed to insert the header i've done it there okay the instruction says insert your header i've done it there's my header with my examination number and my question Number three says use left and right hand margins of 2.5, 2.54 centimeters. So how do we make sure that the margins are correct? Okay, let me view this again. So for you to check the margins, make sure that you are under home so that you can see the first set of tools. All right. Now we are looking for margins for the whole document. So you can go to layout and then on the page setup group you click the launch icon. Then you will see when the screen comes it will tell you the margins left 2.54 right 2.54 so it's fine. If you are going to change any of them you will just click inside the box and modify the numbers. So everything looks okay I click okay right. Okay, let's look at the next question. Right, so the next one says text must be left aligned and in single line spacing. 
single line spacing except where indicated all right so single line spacing it means that when you are doing your paragraphs when you type your paragraph you can see they are next to each other exactly so the lines are next to each other okay so if it was not single line spacing we would have noticed because the gaps between your types of lining of your uh, the gaps between the 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 spaces okay between your lines will be uh, bigger so it, for instance it will be something like that when i go to home under paragraph group when i launch the group like this you will find where it says spacing now it's single so probably maybe it was something like double so you see that this is bigger so in case you find something like that and they say change it to single you will go to home under paragraph group you launch the group and then make it single there you change and say single and click ok so this option will need you to highlight the text that is going to be affected All right so when we look at our questions again it says save the document as plastic print the document and place it in your and place in your printout pr place the printout in your folder okay so what i will do now I will, i'm going to s uh, save the document all right so when i go to save the document i will go now and click file save as okay so i will choose where it must save if i locate the folder i will just find it and then maybe plastic okay i go and type plastic there that is the name given to me to save click save so my document has been saved as plastic we can all see that all right so that is question 6a okay so when everything looks like this you will get all the marks given to you according to all the instructions that you would have done so remember the space between here that we spoke about in the beginning of this lesson the space between your paragraphs should be two spaces how do you make sure that they are exactly two spaces you go and switch on the show and hide if i click home and go and click the show and hide icon there it will show how many icons or how many spaces i have by the show and hide remember those spaces means you have pressed enter how many times so when we look at our question paper there again where we see the text originally how it should be where it was indicated how i'm going to insert it this here shows that it's two spaces there so when you do the typing it will be represented by the show and hide icon which means now this is one and this is two so that is the second one so when i go to paragraph number two after that paragraph there i will see that okay this is number one pressed enter once pressed enter twice to get to paragraph number three so the more you press enter it appears like this if maybe we had paragraph number five when i press enter and type you see it those show and hide icons they appear as i continue with my text right so remember how we switched it on it means now for you to switch it off you go to home and then you go and find the icon and click it it will disappear again okay so i'm just going to remove this example that i made so this is question 6a stay tuned as we are going to go to question 6b on our next video